Good evening, everybody. I'm Mark Seligman. I've lived in Selma for 17 years. Um, I always begin these talks with saying, I'm going to tell you the truth. You may not like what I'm going to say, but it is the truth. A little bit about my background. I was raised in New York City. I went to college there. I have a degree in sociology, and I have a degree in business. I have graduate uh, experience in psychology from Sonoma State. I've lived in Josephine County since 1995, and I've been politically active here for 10 years. I've run for county commissioner twice. I've been involved in many of the debates facing our county in that time. I go to numerous county meetings. Um, I had a base, I have fought the fight for transparency, civil liberties, and against property taxes for at least seven years. Because I feel that, to borrow a phrase from my friend Sandy Casanelli, we cannot tax people into prosperity. We don't have the jobs here in Josephine County, and there really isn't a whole lot of hope that we're going to have a massive influx of jobs. Now, on November 24th of this past year, I had a house fire. My significant other went to the Portland Burn Center with burns over 20% of her body. I went to the hospital myself, and I spent 20 of the next 30 days with her, walking to and from a health food store from the hospital every single day in December. And I had an epiphany. And I said, you know, I'm in a pretty depressed state right now, watching my girlfriend go through what she went through. And I looked back to where I live. And I said, I have lived in prosperous areas like New York City and Sonoma County. And I am, quite honestly, I am tired of this lack of vibrancy and lack of prosperity. So what can we do? We're not going to tax ourselves into prosperity. We need jobs here. Now, I support responsible logging, but let's face it, we have one mill left. We used to have 26. Logging will never assume its position again. That's the truth. A lot of people don't like it, and they want me to fight for it. You know, the environmentalists, and I'm an environmentalist, I don't like the smoke that's going around here this past summer. They seem to stand in the way of most logging sales, which affects timber revenue. So what can we do? Well, I, I believe in medical marijuana dispensaries. I believe in the legalization of marijuana. I don't believe in taxing it. What I do believe that the county needs to approve these dispensaries so that we can start on our way to a four billion dollar industry which will provide jobs and revenue to the citizens of this county. It will also provide revenue to the county. For example, the county can lease its fairgrounds out, the Dimmick property is going to be raised in Grants Pass, warehouses could happen there. The Port of Washington, Port of Mason in Washington County leases its warehouse for ninety thousand dollars a year and that goes to the county of Mason. We could do the same thing here. We live in the best area, you see what I passed out, to grow marijuana on earth. Should we not take advantage of this? This is going to be legal. You wouldn't need a property tax levy. You wouldn't need a library levy. You wouldn't need an animal shelter levy. You would have jobs, and you would have people come to this area because there's money flowing through it. Now, the county commissioners are going to vote tomorrow, one of their first votes. They're probably going to turn it down, and the city of Grants Pass will likewise. Thank God the city of Cave Junction looks like they're going to approve it so people will come here and you will see a mini boom because of what this town is doing. Now, I've always been for a transparency of government. One of our commissioners, Cheryl Walker, thinks it's harassment when citizen asks for documents. That's incredible. This levy, there's no guarantee that patrol is going to, is going to happen. Um, Simon Hare, who's my, one of my opponents, the incumbent, he stood in this very room when he first ran. He says, I'm against tax levies. Yeah. Well, he proved that he was for it because he was for the taxing district and he was for the levy. So, you know, when you sit on, and now he's not deciding on medical mental dispensaries. You know what happens when you sit on a fence long enough? Yeah. I'll let, I'm not going to get too graphic about it. Oh. Now, um, he's also a drunk. This is true. Uh, he, what's interesting about the city of Grants Pass and Simon Hare, they're against medical marijuana dispensaries, 
But tomorrow night in Grants Pass, what they're going to do is they're going to approve a growler's license, which is beer, and they're going to strike down marijuana. That's real interesting to me. This is marijuana for medicinal purposes. I think the beer is for medicinal purposes. Now, the skeptics will speak about moral decadency. You know what I think is moral decadent? When, when I grew up in New York City, a 25-year-old man would not be walking the streets in the middle of the day. That's going on right here in Cave Junction because they don't have a job. The mills have laid off people. Families are hurting. We can't have commissioners tax us. We need jobs. This is, a, how much? this is an industry that we are part of. I can think and I can reason. I've been to the county meetings for seven to ten years. And just look at what they're doing in Colorado. We could do the same thing here. I would like your vote, and now I'd like to turn it over to a person I admire, Sandy Casanelli. Thank you.